Uh, welcome back to On the Peg. Um, I'm not going to do the I'm the Mad Montreal Man today because I can't get into character. As you saw in the opening credits, uh, this episode is dedicated to Bernie Moreau. Um, it's, uh, it's been a, a tough week for anyone who knew Bernie, uh, any of his fans. Uh, I was lucky enough to know Bernie back in Montreal. And uh, if you uh, ha don't know what happened, uh, Bernie uh, passed away on September 2nd, um, and um, it hit home. It hit home hard. It hit home hard. Uh, I was lucky enough to know Bernie back in Montreal when I worked at Nova Comic Book Shop. Um, Bernie was one of the regular artists who would come in all the time, and it's because of Bernie and Jeff Fisherwood that I actually started drawing. And, uh, you know, it's... I can't remember which one started it, but it was either Jeff or Bernie who, after Alpha Flight number one came out, uh, we were having a discussion. And I, I was a sculptor, I was a photographer, I didn't draw. I didn't draw. And um, I can't remember if it was Jeff or Bernie who said, well, if you don't like the Alpha Flight characters, why don't you come up with your own? And so I did, and it was um, both Bernie and Jeff Isherwood who always encouraged me to keep drawing. I mean. Jeff Fisherwood uh, actually took one of my sculptures and drew it, which which made me feel really good. But when it came to drawing, in some ways, Bernie was uh, my mentor. Uh, he would always come in, he always asked me how my drawing was, and I, I, I used to draw, like, my drawing skills are crap. I mean, I've gotten better, I can draw tons of characters, but... It was Bernie who basically really encouraged me to keep drawing and drawing, and now I have over 7,000 characters because of uh, his encouragement for all those years I knew in Montreal. And of course, I lost touch with Bernie when I moved to Montreal, but recently, in the past couple of years, I found him on Facebook. I would message him on his birthday. And Bernie yeah, was a great comic book artist. If you don't know his artwork, uh, well, if you're a DC guy, uh, he did a lot of Wonder Woman stuff. He also did Grendel, but his comic book was The Jam. The Jam was based in Montreal. It was a Montreal superhero. And, uh, you know, he had great artwork like this that he would, you know, just... Yeah, when he'd see, he'd see me, he'd hang out, and we'd, we'd get some great comic book artists off him. But the reason why I think it hit me the most this week is, as you know, I'm a big uh, I'm a big uh, supporter of men's mental health. And um, Bernie chose to I don't want to get take this video tank. He chose to self exit. Um, it turns out uh, he was depressed, which a lot of a lot of men are. A lot of men do suffer from depression. I'm one of them. Um, I must refer to as a functioning manic depressive. But uh, it also turns out, uh, I didn't know this, but I thought that, I thought Bernie was doing okay, but it turns out he was also, not only was he depressed, he was living in poverty. And being in a situation like I'm in now with no work and for nine months, and I've been there when you don't have any money. It is, if you're depressed, it really makes things worse. And what's really more painful is that uh, five months ago, I did an interview. Everyone said he looked fine. He was in good moods. He was playing in his band. Uh, even someone, uh, some a month ago, said he looked great. It just shows you that, uh, you know, when a guy says he's fine, he's not fine. Uh, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it really hits home. Because he was such an inspiration. He was a great artist, a great guy, good musician too. And uh, him uh, not reaching out to anybody is an indication of the problem with our society. Uh, you know, it's not easy when you're depressed and you have no one to talk to. So if you know anybody out there who's depressed, or if any guy in your life says, I'm fine, they're not fine. Reach out to them. Let them know that there's always a better tomorrow. There's always something that can change. And, uh, oh, I'm going to miss Bernie. 
because I was thinking now that I was in Ottawa, I was closer to Montreal, I might see him at the cons, go for beer, but uh, that's, that's not going to happen now. And it's uh, really uh, hard to uh, be positive when something like this happens. Uh, I mean, I was lucky enough that Bernie called me a friend. And, you know, it's uh, it's it's a rarity. And I'm, I've been, in some ways, blessed. Because a lot of comic book people I've gotten to know. Uh, and uh, they're always encouraging. I mean, Jeff Fisher has always been encouraging. And I will be seeing Jeff this Sunday. I'm going to go to the comic book convention. Just specifically to see Jeff. Because there's one thing... I never got to say to Bernie was thank you. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for encouraging me. And uh, this, for example, I'm going to cherish forever. Because when I first started drawing, I sucked. I really sucked. I was, I was, I couldn't draw. This was Bernie's anatomy book. He came into the store one day and he goes, I want you to have this. This is mine, my personal copy of this book. He goes, it helped me to draw and he gave it to me. <laughs> now I'm gonna pass this on to uh, my daughters one of these days. Even though both my daughters can draw much better than I can, they're great artists. And <sighs> but uh, I'm gonna miss you, Bernie. I really am. And uh, there is gonna, I'm going to put a link up uh, in the description um, to uh, help get money to Bernie's family. Uh, it's uh, something I was set up a while ago, and one of his friends is still doing it to get uh, money to his family and so forth. So I'll put that in the description. I'm also going to share this video on TikTok as well, at least part of it. But, uh, yeah. It's been a hard week. And I can imagine it's even harder for people who were a lot closer to Bernie than I was, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I miss Bernie. I miss having him come to the store. I miss those days. I miss his encouraging words. I mean, and I'm not a religious man, but uh, Bernie, I'm never going to stop drawing. So thank you. And on uh, Sunday, when I go to Comic-Con, to see Jeff, I'm basically going there to tell him the same thing. Thank you for inspiring me all these years. Okay, yeah, enough of that. Uh, Unscripted, but uh, yeah, it, it just hit hard this week. And uh, uh, and if you, if, and I do recommend just a. Uh, to help out his family as best you can. I mean, I, I, I'm sure his bandmates are, are having a hard time way too, a hard time now, his family. But uh, if you ever get a chance to uh, pick up the music, his band was called Bug-Eyed Monster. Pick up the music from them. If you ever see the guys playing again, support them. Oh, and he was young too. He was only born in 1961, only a couple of years older than me. So it's, uh, hit, it's, it's hit hard. But uh, we're not here to talk about my feelings. And uh, just to reassure my friends and my family, even though I say I'm fine, and you guys know I'm actually a manic depressive, you know why I'm depressed a lot, but don't worry, I, I, I made a promise to my daughters that I will live to be 200, and I plan to do my best to keep that no matter how bad my life gets. And um, one of the reasons why I'm keeping this video short, I'm only doing two figures today is because I know fully well if I ever get to that point, like that little point, that I just people I'm going to reach out to. Um, one of them is actually someone I've never physically met. My buddy Shane. Shane has been someone who's been encouraging me since I started doing videos back in the days of Arx Comics. Uh, he's like a brother to me. And Shane 
is the one responsible for this madness behind me. Because Shane, years ago, when I first moved to Ottawa, sent me this. The Batman Who Laughs. Now, I've already taken him out of the package, but I never had the other two pieces to the car, so I figured there's no point. But, uh... Thanks to Second Markets, I finally did get Nightwing and Batgirl so I can build the car. So uh, what do you say? I'm going to put these down, stop the camera for a minute. Um, I guess we'll take Nightwing out first. And uh, we'll do a quick review show. It's probably going to be about 20 minutes today, but uh, back in a minute. All right, well, this is the part that came with the Batman Who Laughs. This is the part of the car that comes with uh, Nightwing. And it's really simple. This was like the first Build-A-Figure they did kind of thing. It's just a snap in and you got half a car. Uh, and I'm sorry there's not going to be any super close-ups of the figures today. I'm uh, just, you know, not in the mood. But there's the card. I know I'm doing what other people do. Here's the card. Here's the back. But uh, let me just show you the figure real good. I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the Nightwing figure before. It's basically the same body they did as the vampire one. I like the face. Good face. You know, it's got good detail. It actually holds them, so I can't say that sucks. Uh, I do like the fact that you can take these off. I just put them in the back because, to me, it makes more sense. No spare hands, no spare heads. But uh, really good looking figure. Yeah. It's it's the Nightwing I've been wanting for a while, and the funny thing was I do have one of these loose, but I never had one with the car, so now I've got two. But uh, what do you say we get on to Batgirl? I also have a loose version of her, but not with the car. And uh, I know some people out there are thinking, well, why don't you just keep her in package? Because I want to build the car. But uh, I'll be back. I'm going to cut away one more time. I'll be back with uh, her and the last piece of the car. Okay, and Batgirl comes with the right part of the car, so let's take a look. Doesn't want to snap in. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, well, there you have it. A Batmobile. It's actually not bad for a, you know, a little build a, build a car. Uh, I'll do the corny thing again. Here's the car. I'm not going to bother with the back. She comes with a gold Batarang, which is obviously two size. And, of course, she comes with the the gun that we all hate. But here she is. Oh, yeah. Holds her up, too, by the way. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do it without, you know, her. I'll do the, there's the feet. I do like the detail on the boots. It's It's a nice touch. The belt, I like the belt as well. I didn't even notice. Oh, she's got the backpack on the back. That's kind of cool. Um, I like how the backpack bag is the bat symbol. But I think the thing I like the most about her, if I can get her in focus here, is her face. This is one of the... Uh, I actually like this head sculpt. Uh, I wish McFarlane would use it again. It's a really good-looking head sculpt. It actually really suits. I actually don't know why I need a short cape. If it was a cloth cape, it'd be cool. So I wouldn't mind if they redo Barbara Gordon again. Make another back roll. Use that head sculpt. Out of all the back rolls I have, I think she's my favorite. She's just uh, a good looking back roll. And that's pretty much it. Um, to make it up to you guys, even though I was going to take a break, I will do a Marvel Monday. I will do. magic on Monday just to make up for this episode being shorter and being a bit of a downer and uh, yeah that's that's it um, you know it's it's more than ever it's really important to um, make sure you take care of yourself physically mentally and of course emotionally so do your best please do your best to stay healthy and uh, even though there are days where it's really hard to be, it's there's some days you just nothing's going to really work. But if it's just for one second, because when I think about Bernie, I think about some of the good memories. It gives me a smile. So it's a little bit, a, a little bit today. 
but it's just one little thing those little things that help you to stay happy and even though I'm not doing it today I'm not faking it today because I'm having a hard time this is my little bit trying as best as I can but do your best to stay positive positive. and once more if you know anybody anybody who's you just might be a little concerned about reach out let them know let them know it's 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 you know that they're they're loved that they're needed i mean we've lost not only a friend a mentor but this world has lost a great guy a great artist and um I can only hope one day when I get back to Montreal, hope I can actually eventually move back to Montreal, is that uh, somewhere there'll be a nice mural of the jam eating a piece of pizza over a pizza parlor. Or, you know, we're on a, like a rooftop somewhere. It'd be nice to see a statue of it too, but there should be a Bernie Memorial. Bernie Moreau Memorial. I start to say Bernie Moreau Memorial somewhere in Montreal because keep in mind too, I mean, he literally drew a comic book that had Montreal as part of the part of the comic book. It was, you know, it was nice to see my hometown in a comic book and the jam is Montreal superhero. And it's all because of Bernie. So uh, thank you, Bernie. We're going to miss you. And I am going to put that link up. So please, if you can, support that link. Help his family get some money. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys on Monday.